in the thematic category called beauty, that discursive formation expresses value judgment regarding the beauty of characters with a certain degree of corpulence. In the history of obesity, there was a reversal of value in this regard, before, corpulence was considered beautiful, and then it became ugly. Eleven passages were considered relevant to this theme, with statements that suggested that a certain corpulence was beautiful or ugly. Only two of these were about the beauty of male corpulence. It is understood that the judgments fell more on the female body due to a certain historical and socio-cultural trend that links beauty to a feminine issue. As for the type of thematization, it was considered that in two excerpts there was direct thematization, which explicitly enunciated the association between beauty or ugliness and corpulence. These two direct thematizations were late in the investigative period, suggesting a trend in this direction. Regarding the number of themes, it remained practically stable on average. The valuation inversion takes place between the first and second decades of the 20th century. In other words, when this sub-series is organized chronologically, it is clear that the stretches until 1907 stated that the body condition is beautiful. After that, the passages stated that it is ugly. To illustrate this category, five excerpts were selected. In the first one, by Georges Beelis, Le Raid Paris Monte Carlo in the years, from 1905, two guards guard the access to a castle. One of the citizens who passes through the entrance is relatively overweight and receives a lot of attention from them, who, at the end, gesticulate referencing her body in a desirous sense. Thus, they indicate judging her corpulence beautiful and attractive. In the second excerpt, from 1915, The Burlesque on Carmen, by Charles Chaplin, a burly character is exchanged for a skinny seducer. Seeing her suitor attracted to Carmen, the chubby woman calls for violence and they both fight. In this excerpt, therefore, it is stated that thinness is more beautiful and attractive than corpulence. In the third and fourth excerpts, from the films Max Wants a Divorce, from 1917, and Be My Wife, from 1921, by Max Linder, the utterance of the ugliness of corpulence in women already takes on the form of comic ridicule. At that, Max attends a fashion show alongside a lady. The model is very thin, while the lady at her side is very large. This one is excited about the clothes that are being presented. Linder imagines her with the clothes being shown, laughing at the scene. In this film, Max and his wife want to divorce and seek a judicial excuse. Then, they go to a party, where they try to find a woman to commit adultery. She points to a burly woman, 
but he refuses, explicitly claiming that she is too heavy. Then he suggests another girl, whom his wife this time rejects, saying that she is very thin. Finally, in the fifth excerpt, in The Battle of the Sexes, from 1928, by D.W. Griffith, the protagonist, a middle-aged man, attracted by a thin young woman, decides to start an exercise program in his room, using it for that. A book entitled The Symmetry of Form. In other words, he intends to exercise for an aesthetic question, demonstrating that the male corpulence was also considered ugly. It should be noted, however, that in this film a certain resistance to the nascent pattern of beauty is expressed, using the social roles of the father of the family to express opposition to the new values. Thank you.